Hi folks, this is again a continuation of the dollar sign expansion series. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the dollar sign expansion within set analysis. So what we'll do is we've got a text object here. It's not populated with any um, uh, expression. We're going to go into the variable overview by pressing Control Alt and V, and we're going to add a new variable called e dot metric dot without. We click OK. And for this, we're going to say we want the sum of sales, but within the, the set analysis, we're going to say dollar one, and then we click OK. So now in our text object, we can say equals e dot metric dot without, and we can say. country so we just have to use the dollar sign expansion so now we uh, click apply you can see we've got our total amount for the sum of sales but then if we select Belgium the, the expression won't change because effectively we've disregarded a selection to be made on that, that dimension uh, the country dimension so again if we select id it should work so we select id it drills down to the sum of sales of 244276 for id 9001 again what we could do is go back into our variable overview and instead of saying dollar one we could say comma dollar two click ok and now we go into our text object and just put a comma ID, click OK. Now we select ID 9001. It doesn't change the sum of sales because we've disregarded um, that selection. So again, we just have a quick look. We're saying E dot metric without, and it's the sum of sales. We want to disregard dollar uh, one and dollar two, and in this case, it's country and ID. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.